Hello and welcome. In today's episode you will learn about um, what kind of ammunition to shoot on your opponent and the side scraping technique later. First, you need to know what kind of gun your actual tank has. Basically there are two types of guns in this game. Um, a close range short barreled high caliber Hovitzer, which is for example on the KV2 and medium long range long barreled tank guns like on this IS-3. If we talk about the first category they usually shoot HE no matter what. Sometimes they shoot heat maybe armor piercing. We need to talk about the second category though because these guns benefit from multiple um, ammunition types. The IS-3 has armor piercing, APCR and HE. And this is the same layout for many tanks in the game. In this example I took my IS-3 as the high tier tank and Tita Potsok is in her M6 which is of course a tier 6 tank so she is in an underdog position. Because even you are in a low tier tank, you could be an asset for your team. Don't throw away your life just because you are in a low tier tank in the battle. But this is another story. So for now, let's concentrate on what type of ammunitions you should shoot in what situations. Let's switch into Tita Potok's view. And as you can see, the layout for the ammunitions are the same as on the IS-3. The M6 has a selection of armor piercing with average penetration of 160. It has armor piercing composite rigid with average penetration of 243 which is almost a tier 10 gun penetration in terms of heavies. My E75 has only three more millimeters of penetration as average so it's pretty decent and it has HE with higher damage. Basically you should use as much AP as you can in each battle. Unfortunately this is not the situation in this moment. AP rounds usually cheap so there is a reason you should use it. Um, Furthermore, if, if you don't know what to shoot on your opponents, there is a rule of thumb for you. Try to use AP first and try to use AP for the second time if you failed first. After you failed the second time as well, you, you should choose a different path. Maybe use APCR maybe HE, it depends on the situation. But if you fail to penetrate twice in a row on your opponent, you you maybe do something wrong. And to compensate this, you might change the, the style you play in that situation. Or you might need to aim for weak spots if the range lets you to do that. And um, speaking of weak spots, there are a couple of weak spots on tanks, like the viewports, like the machine gun ports, these are all weak spots and generally lower plates, but the I think the M6 is almost an exception for that because of its weak spot is kind of curvy and you may easily miss it, uh, or your, your shot can go easily too low and you will actually hit the ground underneath it. But usually you can shoot for these spots on the tanks. Because my initial position was so strong for the M6, uh, she wasn't able to do any damage to me. I intend to go to the open and yeah, now all my weak spots and my hard spots can be shot. 
of course I knew that the M6 is not able to penetrate my armor, but I asked for Tsipotok to try cause some damage. And even my lower plate quite strong for this tank. In this kind of head-on situations, of course, the M6 would lose quite fast. But this is a tutorial, so... After she failed 2-3 times penetrating my tank, I asked her to aim for weak spots. Of course, no success again. And now we are loading a PCR. So, the tier 10 penetration can help you in this kind of situations. Of course, you might not use a PCR or premium ammunition all the time because they can cost you a fortune and of course it has much greater penetration so in this case the usage of APCR is totally valid and as I see the range is only 163 meters so it doesn't really lose many of the extra penetration because the distance is so close. Now I let Itapotok 2 come closer and put some effective fire on my unangled pike nose. So practically <clears throat> I am a one-shot hit at this moment. And this is the situation when high explosive comes into the picture. You can use high explosive to um, kill one hit guys. You will see what I mean. You you saw that she wasn't able to penetrate with AP and using APCR would be only a waste in this case and even with APCR you can bounce from an IS-3. So aim, shoot. Alright, only three. <laughs> And there you go. Use high explosive if your enemy has only a couple of hit points left. It will serve you good. High explosive is quite cheap and you can see it's very effective in this kind of situations. Of course there are other uses of HE as well. As you see it caused critical damage um, to the IS-3 earlier, it blew off the right track and it can cause other critical damages to tanks.